Can He-Man survive the doors of doom? No problem! The problem is, he might be drained by mosquito, tangled by squeeze, blown away by blast attack, frightened by snake face, or buzzed by buzzsaw hordak. Five against one, you man! Like I said, no problem. Mosquito, blast attack, squeeze, buzzsaw hordak, and snake face figures sold separately. New from the masters of the universe. Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. And uh, as you can see, you might have seen I got this the other day. It's my very first Masters of the Universe figure. Now this is a new series where I'm going to be trying out different um, different toy lines and see which I like the best to collect alongside my Star Wars. I'm not going to stop collecting Star Wars. Star Wars is also going to be my main focus and the main focus of this channel, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> so. Um, I started out with one of the hardest ones to get on the Masters of the Universe. Um, it's the one I liked. I'd, I've done a bit of research and looked, watched a few videos, and this is in most people's top ten of the uh, best of the uh, Masters of the Universe figures. Now, I used to watch Masters of the Universe as a kid. Um, I used to come on and watch it. After school, there used to be Danger Mouse, there used to be all the cartoons and everything like that. And E-Man was one of those that you pretended that you didn't like, but you actually did like. And you took the mickey of it with your school friends and things like that. Never actually got any of the figures. Um, I was still collecting Star Wars at the time, so that was my main focus. That had been my main focus since about 1978, 79. Uh, I was still getting other lines, obviously. Um, I stopped. I stopped collecting Action Men, and I went on to Star Wars. And I don't really know why I didn't buy any of these. Maybe because the price point was quite a lot more than the Star Wars figures. I think. So, um, eighty two, eighty two. The first came out of these. So eighty three. I was still getting Return of the Jedi figures. I got all the line. I didn't get any of the further lines. Hence that I didn't collect any Masters of the Universe. I didn't. I missed. I didn't uh, collect Transformers, Masters of the Universe, anything else that came out around that time that was pretty popular. Action Force, things like that. I had Action Men, but I never collected Action Force. Never even looked at anything else. I was more into model building probably back then. A lot. Most of the Star Wars models I actually built. So, um, yeah, the price point probably is, and the size, they didn't fit in with the three and three quarter Star Wars figures that I, I had. So they couldn't battle against each other, which before beforehand, I had um, blue, um, black hole figures. I had Star Trek figures from the motion picture. I had uh, Batstar Galactica figures, all three three quarter, and they all played nicely with my Star Wars figures until I built up my Star Wars figure collection, and then it was all just Star Wars. So here we go. This is Mosquito. It's Mosquito. Um, doesn't isn't complete. He doesn't have his rifle. He has a purple rifle, and. Um, the articulation is um, not that great, actually. It's surprisingly for the size of the figure. You do have the head, obviously, squeaky head. the The arms, the arms don't bend at the at the elbows. Um, swivel joints at the at the waist, and let's talk about the legs. As you can see, they are very, very uh, wobbly. He does stand up in a fashion. He does stand up. So that's cool. But um, if you see the video that um, Matt, Matt has done over at Universal Collector. Hi, action figure fans. Universal Collector here today with a new video. Today we have a broken He-Man. 
figure spike not floppy so uh, look at that they just stay in there great well you see the the rubber rubberized joints in there the banding that is similar to the uh, the not the action force the the gi joe o-rings um which i've done a video about and matt has done a video about replacing the Master of the Universe bands on there. I don't really want to pull it too much because you can see that it's cracking. The rubber, it's surprising it's still still there. Now, what I want to do is I, I would like to uh, try and replace that sometime. But I'm just worried about the the blood. As you can see, let's move his head. As you can see, um, the blood does actually still work. Pumping in his body. Obviously, being a mosquito, he sucks blood, and you can see all in there. So I don't really want to open it up, and um, because there'll be like a pump system in there, you press because you press that, and that pumps the blood out. So I'm just a bit worried about opening that up. But what I might do is uh, try and open it up from just his his waist, and. Um, I think it should be alright. I don't think I'll need to open the top bit. So that I might do. I'm not going to do it on the video because you need to go over to Matt's uh, video to to see his his way of doing it. He's doing it. Um, I've done the um, the GI Joe video earlier on, so you can go back and watch that too. But as a line, I'm not really sure. I'd like to know. I'd like to know your your comments. Leave your comments below on if you think I should collect Masters of the Universe. I would like to get one iconic toy from each line. To be honest with you, but um, really doesn't it doesn't grab me. Star Wars grabbed me a long time ago, so that'll never go. Masters of the Universe. I like. I love this figure. Um, I would like an E-Man and a Skeletor. I would like a few really just just to see if it grabs me and this is why I'm doing these videos on a series of different lines next one I think is going to be um, the Transformers because I do have a sound wave coming and really I should I should be into Transformers more than I am um, it just I don't know these, I mean, there's different like there's different lines I can I can think of doing. I've got a turtle. I can I'm going to do a turtle video. I'm going to do a Ghostbuster video because I had Ghostbusters and I've still got a few Ghostbusters. So that'll probably be the next one to be honest with you. Depends when my uh, sound wave comes. Uh, Lego video. There's just just you name it. The lines are going to come, and I'm going to try because I was a big Lego collector builder, and um, I sold it all. And um, the thing with Lego is, I love building it, but then when you've built it, it's just Lego. It's not like a, a vintage Star Wars vehicle or anything like that. So, there you go. It's um, it's really up to you what you think I should be collecting. What you think, what you suggest for me to look at. I know there's a lot of uh, Master of the Universe fans out there. A lot of Transformers fans, Jody, um, <laughs> pushing me to get Transformers. I'm just going to look at each line. From I'm going to take this outside the box and look for it from a different perspective. As a collector, as an ex-dealer, and just look at other lines. And again, I need your help. And I hope this helps you too. In if you are just starting collecting, I I suggest people go out and start collecting vintage Star Wars because it's the best line to collect. For me, it's up to you what you collect, but for me, the vintage Star Wars figures are relatively cheap. I know there's some the last seventeen, a few of the first twelve. Uh, if you try and get them complete, are very very expensive, and I haven't got a full line. And it'll take me years to get a full line. But that's the good thing about it. You've got to be patient. You've got to be lucky. 
<laughs> I mean, I just got a Han Solo in Carbonite for £65. And I, I wouldn't have got it for £65 10 years ago. So I was very lucky on that. You've got to be there at the time be very lucky. But it's like this. I was lucky with this. I got it cheaper than I should have done. Yes, it's not complete. But um, it's the start of my Master of the Universe collection. And who knows? Who knows? I haven't made a decision yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few videos on the series of different toys and decide. And maybe I put it out to a vote. Maybe I'll do like five or ten videos and then put them all up and you can vote on which one you think I should collect. So you need to subscribe. You really do. <laughs> I'm not forcing you, obviously. Please subscribe, um, like this video, share it out, and hopefully I will be starting collecting a new line very soon. Thanks to you. So there you go. Thank you for watching the video. And may the toys be with you.